Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on separating first name, middle initial, and last name using Excel. As always, if you find this video to be helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in this Excel worksheet a string that I'll be using for this example. And this name structure is first name, middle initial, and last name. And we see this in data sets where we get the strings all together, we get the names all together and not separated out into separate variables. And sometimes we do need this information to be broken down by first name, middle initial, and last name. So I'll be using formulas that I build with functions and I'll be using just four different functions to break down this name into the component parts. And that'll be the left, right, len, and find functions. So in this first name, to get the name first from the string in cell B2, I'm going to use the left function. So this will be left and then open parenthesis and you can see there's two arguments here, text and number of characters. Well, the text will be the name. So I'll reference cell A2 there and then comma. And the number of characters will be the position of the first space in the string minus one. So that'll be find, parenthesis, the find text argument, that'll be quotation mark, space, quotation mark, comma. The within text, again, will be the name, so cell A2. And I'll take that expression and subtract one. Close parentheses, and that gives me just the first name. And the way I have this, this is dynamic, which I'll demonstrate in a few moments. So if you change the first name to a name that has a different number of characters, it's still going to return just the first name. So the middle initial is a little more complicated. So this would be a formula that starts with the function left and then uses the function right. So first I'll be modifying this nested function of right. This is the right function nested in the left function. So the first argument for right is going to be the text. So I'll reference cell A2. Then I have the number of characters. Now this will be equal to the length of the string minus the location of that first space. So that'll be len for length. There's one argument for this function, and that'll be the text, cell A2. And I'm going to subtract the location of the first space. So that's find. And again, the find text will be quotation mark, space, quotation mark. The within text will be that cell reference. Close parentheses, close parentheses, comma. And now I'm back working in the left function. You can see here below the formula that I'm building, the left function is active, and I'm on the second argument of the left function, and that's the number of characters. Now in this particular example, because we would be working with one character for the middle initial plus the period, we can set this to 2, the value 2, and close parenthesis. And that gives us our middle initial separated out into column C. And now we'll move to the last name. So this one is the most complex of these three variables to extract the last name. And there are a few different methods. Uh, I'm going to use one that finds the second space and then allows us to figure out the last name from there. So this would be equal sign right. And again, the text will be the name. And the number of characters is going to be the length of this string, of the name, minus find, and then the find text will be the space, so quotation mark, space, quotation mark, and again that original reference for the within text, and then in the same find function, without moving out of this, we're not going to close this yet, 
it's going to be comma and find again. So find the find text again being the space. Then the cell reference A2, close parentheses, and add 1. Close parentheses, close parentheses, and we have the last name. So this worked by finding the second space in the string. And as I mentioned, there are a few different ways to do this. This way is fairly straightforward, although it is the most complex formula of these three. So now I'm going to autofill these formulas down to the second row in the table, the third row in the worksheet. And we can see that this works for the example first, M period, last. But does it work for other names? So for example, if I use my name, I have a different number of characters, my first name, than the example I used here first, and a different number of characters, my last name, than the four characters in the word last. And you can see that the formulas still return the correct strings into each variable. I hope you found this video on separating the components of a name into separate variables using Excel to be useful. Thanks for watching.